My name is uh, Roman Stocker. I'm a second year assistant professor in the Ralph Parsons uh, Laboratory, which is part of the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering here at MIT. Uh, I'm originally from Italy and uh, I studied fluid mechanics. My background is therefore more in the physical sciences. But in the past two years, three years actually, I've moved more into environmental and biological uh, topics. Two years ago, I started uh, developing uh, microfluidics uh, to look at problems in microbial ecology. And uh, using these uh, micro devices, we are able to um, develop typical ecological questions for things at the scales of microns. Our work is primarily concerned with uh, mortal organisms, those that can swim around in the ocean and track their sources of food. In particular, uh, bacteria have developed uh, very clever ways of swimming. And I have a small demonstration here. The bacterial head is pretty much an ellipsoid. You imagine this being about two microns in size. At the back of the bacterium, there is one or more flagella. These flagella are helical structures which the bacterium can rotate. That rotation pro uh, produces thrust that allows the bacterium to actually swim forward. There are different modes in which bacteria actually do that and there are different strategies of swimming and it is part of what our research is concerned with. The reason uh, bacteria swim in the ocean is to be able to better exploit sources of nutrients. Um, and that is part of a paradigm shift which has occurred over the last 15 or 20 years. Before that, uh, people used to think that the ocean was a homogeneous soup of nutrients at scales of uh, meters and up to tens of meters. And in that picture of the ocean, these small-scale organisms like bacteria were thought to play no substantial role. And they were